so making money burning money all all that stress i mean do you do you experience it as a stress or what's what's the mindset be, behind your success oh i experience stress all day long i mean listen i live <laughs> okay. with stress you so know, stress is stress for you like, still it, so so i would say if you're a founder and entrepreneur you're always going to have stress and if you okay. can't live with the stress then go get a nine to five job mm -hmm. there is no so the life of an entrepreneur the life of myself as an entrepreneur and most of the entrepreneurs i deal with it's not a job so being a founder and a and a creator of a, of a business and a disruptor it's your life it's not a, your job it's not your career it's who you are it defines who you are and what you do and stress will come with it and you just have to accept that stress you have to accept that Things are going to happen, good things, bad things. You're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and there's always going to be bad things happening. The minute you expect, you know, to come up against a brick wall and sometimes, you know, hit obstacles and roadblocks, that's when everything's going to be okay. If you expect, you know, always to smell the roses and not to, you know, not to have garbage in front of you, then you're going to, you know, you're not going to accept failure and you're not going to accept the stress. And so I just accept it. It's part of my daily routine. You know, I expect problems to happen. And so when they happen, you know, I'm not, of course, I'm going to be disappointed and you're going to be let down when you hit obstacles and roadblocks. That's part of life, you know, and, but you have to just be ready for, you know, failure and for yeah. problems to happen. You have to accept the stress. You have to find ways to reduce stress. And so for me, you know, I like to walk every day. I try to put in like, you know, 10 to 15,000 steps. I walk probably a couple hours a day. I like to work out as much as I can. I try to work out, you know, three, four times a week. And I, you know, I shut my phone off. It's really important to take time out. I like mm -hmm. to read as well. I like to shut my phone off and read. I don't look at my phone or social media or, or television past a certain hour. I try to sort of wind down. Um, and, you know, I just try and spend time with my family and my kids. I think, you know, being in a relationship, having kids is stress reduction in itself. You know, when you look at your kids and you see, you know, them growing up in front of you and you realize that, you know, what does this really matter? You know, whether you do an extra deal, you know, we're all, here's, here's the facts. Okay. We're all born the same and we all die the same. Okay. We're all coming out of a, we're all, we're all coming out of a body and we're all going into a, into a box, into a coffin, a box or a jar with depending on how, what happens whether you're being buried or cremated so we're all born the same we all die the same okay two things are going to happen to you you're you're going to die and you're going to pay taxes whether you pay taxes <laughs> when you're alive or when you die you're going to pay it. so at the end of the day life is not a contest and i tell this to my kids all the time and i tell this to people and you know when i was in my 20s and 30s you know martin i wanted to accumulate everything Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Patek Philippe watches, homes everywhere, go on holidays. You're in this life of, you know, following other people, wanting, you know, expensive, beautiful things. Then all of a sudden you accumulate these things and you don't have time to enjoy them and use them. And you realize that, you know, who cares? At the end of the day, you when you're in your 20s and 30s, you want everybody to know you. When you're in your 40s and 50s and you make money, you want anonymity and you don't want anybody to know you. And you want to live a life of, you know, peace and tranquility and, and not have that. So I think it's like a transformation. And I tell people, you know what? Go buy that Ferrari. Go buy that $100,000, $200,000 watch. Enjoy it. Save it. Go on that $100,000 holiday. Go rent that private jet. If that's what you want to do and that was your goal, don't listen to anyone else. It's your money. You made it. You can. You earned it. You can spend it. You can burn it. It's no one else's money to spend but yours. I worry today only about what's in my pocket and what's in my bank account. I don't worry about other people. And so, you know, life is, is about change and about transformation. And, and I think you just have to accept the punches as they come.